reptile room part two. All right, here guys. We got the wood to, to build the um, to build the enclosure for the reds inside our utility room here. So we bought, um, we're gonna try to keep it simple because we're gonna line it in, the, um, in, some, in this tarp here to make it easier to clean. And we're probably gonna move this around come next year if we get this oil tank moved. So real quick, what we're gonna do. Welcome to the space shuttle. Yeah. So we finished, I'm not sure where we left off last week. But we put more of the uh, insulation panels up. We gotta just neaten this up a little bit here. And we got the oil tank behind us, which is taking up some room. So we got uh, the smaller reds in here. It's not set up yet. We just loosely threw some grass and leaves in there. Fine for now. We have this heating. We have this heating in the room, and it's doing a good job. We got a killer-sized thermostat up there, which we have our ring camera. So we can check the temperature from, from our phones at any time. So we're just trying to regulate that to, uh, to find a good set position on, on these heaters. But it's gonna change when we add lights and heaters to this guy. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna build an enclosure on the floor over here for, for the bigger reds. And we might even put those guys in here. So we have six foot to work with, from side to side, and we have, we're going to go out about three foot. We're going to do a two and a half foot, but we might as well do three foot because there's really nothing else we're going to put here. So we'll bring this out maybe three feet here and give them a, a nice little space to walk around for the winter. And we're going to build them some sort of hide, um, a heated hide. And uh, that's where we are right now. A sauna. Sauna. Guys, this is going together pretty pretty easily. This isn't heavy duty wood. Um, came in eight foot pieces. It's only about three quarters of an inch thick. Um, so we're going to put in uh, we're going to put in the last the, the front side um, once we take it in there. Hopefully this will fit because it's a, it's going to be tight. It's six foot and it's six foot. We're only working with six foot, so hopefully hopefully this will slide in there. Um, the next video will be a lot of screaming <laughs> if it doesn't. You can squeeze it so it goes further out. Oops. Ah, oh, there we go. That's how these cameras work. Look at that. Stretch all the way out. Beautiful. This came out pretty good. Six foot by three foot. I'm gonna lay a tarp down. Throw Clean all this stuff up. Some straw or something. Throw it in the house you... in that corner. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe we'll just put a, um, instead of using that house, we'll a just we'll it. just put a board. Yeah, yeah this will contain the heat better. And, uh, be smaller. and we can lift the board up. Oh, mine, folks. So it's Sunday, and now we're doing the setup. We went out and got some mulch and, uh, and so uh, a tarp. So we put the tarp down, as you can see. And now uh, we're gonna to toss the mulch in. Turtles spent the night in here last night. They're extremely happy. We um, we have to get, we're using a, a regular good old reptile stand, but we're gonna get a couple of, um, we we'll use plant hooks. And we'll, we'll put them into the um, walls themselves, probably over here, and get two separate lamps. And uh, and they'll, they'll kinda of hang out a little bit further so we don't like using these for these type of enclosures. So, um, I have to order a couple of those. We used them in the past. So um, we'll have the lights over here and we have, we put the hide over here. I don't know if we showed that on video yesterday. We had the hide over here, but because of um, the plugs and how we have to plug the heater in, um, we're gonna put it on this side. So, um, so we'll update you. We have a, um, like I said, we have mulch and we bought another um, lid for the, uh, for the hide, something a little thicker because we think we're gonna put the 
uh, the space heater on top of that. So that's where we are now. down a tarp and we kind of screwed it in with these little hooks so that they can't pull on it and the corners there we tucked it along the back we bought another piece of wood that was a little thicker and we supported it with um, a couple little pieces of two by four and we put the heater up on top here um, just because the way it was situated the wires were kind of hanging out over here so this should be fine it's not going to get knocked over so we're not worried about it but Bob's thinking maybe to put a chain and, and hook it into the wall so just in case but this is my video. <laughs> so here we go. Once again, this is Michelle. Uh, hi, Michelle. Say hi, Michelle. Here you go, honey. Oh, you got some nice mulch in there. And we're gonna put, like we said earlier, we're gonna put lights up against the wall there so um, they can have two basking spots because we're gonna put these little guys in here with them and um, see how they do. They're, these girls aren't aggressive at all. So, and this is, Darth Marla. These we got from Chris, our buddy Chris Stonish. So she's going to go in here as well. And I'm going to grab these little guys because we want to use this enclosure for the Chinese, the larger Chinese. And these guys should be totally fine in there with them. Just watch them both be attacked. So yeah. <laughs> like a frenzy. Our red foots are really mellow. We're just yeah. more worried about them getting squished. So. We have a heater under here, so this is going to be a nice little hot box back there for them. We're going to get some sort of um, some sort of flaps that we could put here. We've used them in the past where you just kind of hang a flap so it keeps the heat in there. And that's hopefully where they'll stay at night, where they're all heading to the light. <laughs> we'll be able to separate that light a lot better. Yeah. Two separate ones we're not using a, uh, a, a double. Yeah, doubles just don't, they don't make any sense. It's better to have just two hanging. Look at these little guys. So cute. So these guys we got from our friend Kyle. Um, he had a neighbor or some some neighbor or a friend or something that had them and uh, couldn't keep them anymore. This was just a few weeks ago. Right, you know, of course, right before the weather changes, we get some new tortoises, but. Like who are these little guys? Yeah, they, they, they were out with them outside in the back. That's right. So they were out. I mean, this is a smaller enclosure, but. Just make sure. <laughs> it's like the dogs when they see another dog. Hey. You feel so bad having such a huge space outside and bringing them in, but they acclimate. They spend a lot of their time hiding. As long as they have the warmth. Yep. And, the and it's food super and, warm in here. Yeah. It's 70 degrees in here. And, um, so you know, actually, it'll actually be warmer than uh, than seventy. Uh, we just ha we had everything unplugged and the doors open, so mm -hmm. it was staying what about eighty. Oh here. yeah, and that's Last not even night. under the lights. That's just that's just the ambient temperature of the room. <laughs> so we'll also put a water bowl in here for them because they like to drink. But you know, we'll soak them regularly, so we don't have to worry about having some giant water bowl in here. Just something enough where they can get a sip of water when they need it. And the little guys, actually, we put the little guys outside for the few, you know, few days that it was warm enough. And man, they just hid because they had never been outdoors before. And when we put them in here in this enclosure, it was so personable. They were walking back and forth and peeking at us. So it's just a matter of what, you know, what they're used to. But next year, they'll all be outside together. And we'll, uh, we'll have that huge space on the side of the house. And hopefully our friend Matt will, will let us uh, keep his mails again for the season and just have a nice big group of them out there. Plenty of room. Here you go, guys. We'll let these guys settle in, warm up, and um, offer them some food later. See if they eat. <laughs> this is probably the most they're gonna walk around now uh, once. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's new, they're so inquisitive. It's amazing. Yeah. It's These amazing are... how they know and they just, try to figure everything out and smell everything and really cool. So redfoots have always been my favorite. When Bob and I together first got tortoises, we got two little Hermans, little baby hatchling Hermans that um, unfortunately didn't didn't last. But there was a woman on Craigslist selling the redfoots. Was it uh, Craigslist? It had to be because yep. we weren't on Facebook then yeah, really doing so. that. And um, <clears throat> they were a little bit smaller than these two. And uh, we took them home and 
man, just such personalities. They're all really all like little dogs. Man, I just fell in love with the species. So I was so happy when Chris gave us the two, well, the cherry and the red, because we hadn't had them in so long since we left North Carolina. We promised ourselves we wouldn't get any any big tropicals, you know, something from a tropical environment. But right. after yeah. Uh, yeah. I was at work and Susan was like, look what Chris brought over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta keep them. Look at them all. Oh, he's gonna bunch up under this light. All right, so we're gonna let these guys chill, and then we're, we're going to um, we're gonna figure out how we're gonna situate this whole enclosure here. I'm gonna slide it over a little bit and uh, set it up. We have the mm. little babies in here soaking today. They were all eating earlier, so they're doing good. And we got the little tiny red in here, and we're gonna set him up probably in this. Just depends. We think we're gonna put the small Chinese in here. We'll put all these little hatchlings in here, and we'll put the bigger Chinese in here. And that's it. Everybody else, three toads and the um, Hermans are staying outside. And obviously, all the water turtles. Could you imagine if we had to bring in all those water turtles? I know. That would be horrible. I know. We gotta get rid of that that uh, tank, that oil tank. Yep. Sometimes we get rid of our heat. And have this really set up nice. And then we can take in more. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking last night. I was like, imagine having that whole side there as a an rack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Iguanas. Mm -hmm. When we move back to North Carolina, we'll get iguanas again. I'm not here in PA. Well, have nothing. Yeah, right. That's what you said in the beginning. And then we had almost 200 <laughs> animals. Right, guys? You guys are so cute. All right. We'll get you some water and we'll set you up with some food later. Over and out.